Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today we are going to learn about Soulflare Wallet, this amazing, good looking, some kind of sun exploding Solana wallet. This is a super cool wallet. So today we're going to learn how to install it, how to set up a new wallet and how to use it. So if you want to get started with Solana and with Soulflare wallet, watch this video and learn how to do it. And if you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. I have so many tutorials about Solana, about DeFi. Subscribe and su start watching my other videos about Solana and DeFi and yield farming to become a DeFi crypto blockchain master. Now let's get started. This is the Soulflare wallet. This is how it looks like. I love the landing page. I love this kind of sun exploding fire uh, design. The only wallet you need, a non-custodial wallet for Solana. This is a wallet for the Solana ecosystem. Very, very similar to Metamask on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain and Polygon, just for the Solana ecosystem. If I don't know if you know, but Solana is actually different from Polygon, BSC, Phantom, all these kind of blockchains, by the way that it has its own a, a blockchain. It's different blockchain. It's not like Ethereum. You don't have EVM, Eternal Virtual Machine, and it works in a different way. That's why you cannot use MetaMask to access Solana blockchain, and you will have to use some kind of wallet like a Soulflare wallet. You have other wallets like Phantom, Solet, but in that case, we're going to cover Soulflare wallet. So in order to install the Soulflare wallet as an extension to your browser, you can click here, try it out. We have new extension, or just click here, add to uh, Chrome, you want to install the extension in your Chrome browser. And you can see here the extension, it has more than 50,000 users. The reviews are quite good and you can see some kind of pictures from the extension, how it looks like. You can see that you can add new tokens. You can see all your transactions, confirm transactions. You have a special dedicated view for NFTs to manage all your NFTs because we know that NFTs are big in Solana. You have also a native swap feature inside the wallet itself. Staking feature, this is something new that I've never seen before. Inside the wallet itself, you have some kind of a staking functionalities where you can stake token and make nice yields and dividends. So let's go and install the wallet. I'm going to add the wallet to Chrome and now we will download the extension and create a, a installed extension on the wallet. You can see now that the extension has been installed. I'm going to click here and pin it to my browser. Once it's pinned, I can click here in order to get started with the extension and now a new tab will be opened. Now you can do several things. You can import an existing wallet by supplying a seed phrase, a recovery uh, a phrase. You can also connect your ledger device. If you have a hardware wallet, this is the recommended way if you have a lot of funds in order to use it through Ledger and also you can recover a wallet through key store file. Now I don't have any wallet in Solid so I'm Solfler, so I'm gonna just uh, create a new wallet. Just clicking here the button on the bottom on the bottom the button on the bottom, we're gonna create a new wallet. The first thing that you need to supply is a password that will be used to encrypt, to lock your wallet once you are not around in the computer. So the wallet will be locked like a password when you lock your computer. And actually using this password, the Soulflare wallet will encrypt the private key and the, menom the, the phrase, the recovery phrase in the memory of the browser. So this is important to remember the password because if you don't remember this password and you don't have the backup phrase, you will not have access to your wallet. And so I'm gonna choose a password and I'm gonna repeat it and click next. Now, the next thing is the recovery phase. This is the most important thing. You have to keep it in a safe place because if you lose some way access to your wallet, maybe you remove the extension by mistake, you something happened to your computer, these are the words that will be used to recover your wallet. So make sure to keep them safe and also do not share them with anyone because anyone that will have access to this kind of 24 words will be able to restore your wallet and steal all your funds that you have inside the wallet. So I'm going to copy the words aside and I'm going to copy them uh, aside and now the next step would be actually to verify them. So you need to click here. I wrote down my uh, menomic uh, phrase and now the next step will be to verify. You basically have to insert, this is the annoying part where you have to insert all 
the, the phrase, all the words in the right order. So it will basically verify that you actually backed up your seed phrase because it's super, super important. So I'm gonna fast forward, I'm gonna fill it meanwhile. Once you're done completing all the words, you will click here verified and now it actually verifies that you have the, seed, the backup seed phrase and you know how to save, you saved it in a safe place. And welcome, this is the Soulflow wallet, this is super cool. This is the first view when you're gonna uh, look at it and actually if you click here on the extension itself, the wallet will open up and then you will have to supply the password that you entered in order to unlock it. Now let's take a look at the wallet and let's see what kind of features and how we can use it. So first, you can see that you have the first token in Solana which is the Sol token you can send and receive Solana tokens so this is your Sol uh, address you can give it to people in order to send you Sol on the Solana blockchain or send your Solana tokens to another address the main basic feature you can also add other tokens by click create account button I don't know if you're familiar with Solana but actually the tokens on Solana you don't have a smart contract it's not like ERC20 tokens but it's actual coin on the Solana blockchain. So you have to click here to add account to add your tokens. If it's SRM, Serum or Radium or all the other tokens, you can add them. Let's say I want to add, I click here and now the token will be added here to my wallet. I don't have any uh, Solana in order to send transactions for everything you need Sol tokens in order to send transactions. So make sure that the first tokens that you have in this account is actually Sol tokens. So this is the main view. And if you go here, this is the cool staking view, something new that I never seen in another, uh, any wallet. So you have inside the wallet a staking where you can actually stake your tokens. Another cool feature is the NFT view where you can see all your NFTs that you purchased. If it's on Solana Art or Solsi or Digital Eyes, all the marketplaces on Solana. So you can take a look on all your NFTs and you can send them, manage them, send them to other wallet, etc., etc. because these are uh, NFT tokens. Now, this kind of thing is like in uh, inside a, a DEX swap feature where you can swap tokens from Solana to USDC to any other tokens. So it basically uses some kind of DEX AMM algorithm and smart contract in the background. And But it's actually very convenient when it's right inside here. You don't need to go to any website. You just open the wallet and you swap tokens from one to another. Uh, once again, in order to swap tokens and send transactions, you will have to have some sole tokens for transaction fees. This is super, super cheap. It's like uh, 10, uh, like I think even less than a cent, maybe like for one transaction you will pay less than a cent, so it's super cheap, the transaction fees, but we will have to have some sold tokens. And by the way, if you need some sold tokens, uh, I can give you, just comment your wallet address and I will send you uh, some sold tokens so you can just can st get started. So I will do it for you. If you want to get started and you are stuck without sold tokens. Now let's move on to the settings here. You can basically change the more advanced settings. For example, the network. Let's say you are developing on Solana and you want to try your code so you can move to DevNet and TestNet. If you're just a user, this is not interesting for you. Uh, you can change the appearance from dark mode to light mode. You can actually uh, log out and, and revoke access for trusted apps so every time you connect your wallet to a website and you basically give access read access to the wallet uh, to the to this kind of website so here you can revoke the access if there is a website that you basically don't use anymore let's say and you don't you want to to wallet to be more secure so you can revoke the access here on trusted apps and here you can basically click in order to lock your wallet and now you will be uh, you will need actually to supply the password again so there is actually also an auto lock mechanism in Solflare. So if you are idle and you are away from your keyboard for a while, then the wallet will be locked automatically. Now let's say you want to add another wallet or add another account. You basically click here on the left side avatar and here you can see your main wallet and you can basically click add new account and let's say uh, Johnny. All right, so this is the account number two. By the way, guys, so far, if you like my video and you enjoy it and you learn something new, make sure to check my other videos and subscribe to the channel because I have a lot of them and you can learn a lot from my content, get a lot of education about crypto and become DeFi crypto master. So check it out. And actually, you can also import a ledger wallet, import wallet from private key, import uh, using a key store file in X and also export your key. Of course, if you want to export your key, you will have to... Um, uh, to verify it and actually make sure that no one see your uh, monomic seed phrase or your private key because using this key 
they can actually access all your funds and all your uh, assets. So the private keys and the seed phrase are the most important thing. You need to keep them safe. And here you can also switch from one account to another. So I can switch back to the main account and then back to my new Johnny account. You can have several accounts. You can basically create several uh, wallets using the same monomic phrase. So we have one seed phrase that using this phrase, basically there is an algorithm that generates a lot of wallets and every wallet have the private key. So the, the monomic phrase is more powerful than the private key because the private key is basically fits one account and the seed phrase is actually fits all the accounts that you have right here. So keep both of them safe. This is super, super important. And yeah, this is the Soulflare wallet. Nice looking wallet. I love it. I love the design. It's super, super easy. The UX and UI looks nice. I actually prefer Phantom Wallet. I'm using Phantom Wallet, but I just wanted, I know that some of you like Soulflare Wallet more. So I wanted to make this kind of tutorial uh, for you guys to, to get your knowledge better in Soulflare Wallet with Solana. So again, please consider subscribing and smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I will be more than happy to help you out. And thank you so much for watching my videos and landing with me and joining me to the DeFi and crypto journey together. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next guide. Bye bye.